Hello everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer, I'm JR. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my cheap plasma cutter. I've actually had this thing for roughly two years now, and it doesn't get shown or talked about much on the channel. I think that a lot of you guys probably came along and subscribed after I had it. Maybe you don't even know I have it. But this is a two cents. They're not even listed on eBay anymore. It's a cut 50 like most of the eBay knockoffs that you'll see. You know, with all the clickbait, uh, same clickbait I'm going to do. Cheapest plasma cutter ever. Um, cut 50, uh, Eastwood, Jags, everybody copies this. I, I don't know whose design this was originally. It's probably like a Miller or something from the 80s. I don't know. But anyway, um, the P in mine signifies that it is a pilot art, which was super duper important to me when I bought it so that I could cut things like expanded metal and do interrupted cuts so that I wouldn't have to actually touch the work piece. Um, the internet and the research that I did made it seem like I really, really wanted that. And then it turned out um, in hindsight that I don't need that at all. But this is what I have. So like I said, this is a two cents. Um, it's about two years old. I, I've neglected it. I've abused it. This ground clamp was actually nice when I bought it, but uh, now it's all effed up. Today I'm going to be replacing the torch and two of the complaints that I had about this when I bought it were one that the plug was super duper short so I have to set my actual outlet up there which isn't too big of a deal um, and that the torch, the leads are, are short too, both the ground and the uh, torch itself. So this one, I think I'll show you guys here, I've dropped it too many times or whatever so um, See how it triggered? Like immediately, I'm not pushing the button. Sometimes it'll shoot a flame, it'll shoot the uh, arc out that way too. And you don't want that. So I'm gonna change the torch. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then we'll cut this little piece of steel that I have right here. So for a new torch for mine, I think that the not pilot arc ones are like an AH-60 or something like that. But mine is a Pilot Art, so it is a WSD-60. That's the torch type. You can find them all over eBay. I bought this one. It came from China, like everything. And it's supposed to be 10 feet long. So I'm going to open it up, and we'll put it on a machine. So you guys are aware, if you watch this and you like what you see, there are other Cut 50 Pilot Art style torches out there. Um, by the way, I think I paid $32 for this or something. So all in, I'm still, whoa, this is way longer. Cool, now I really have something to trip over. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, it's got a guard on it. That's cool. I thought, when I looked at it, I thought this was the, but it's not. This feels nice. Nicer than the one I have. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this because you know what we say on the driveway engineer safety third these just unthread out the front like a welder it's really the way that I think of plasma cutting is it's just like MIG welding without the wire you can see that this is uh I've not been kind to it which you know if you're a regular watcher of the channel, that probably doesn't surprise you, but I, I paid like $235. The video, the original video for this is on the channel and I had a lot of trouble with it. Um, and it was my fault, not the fault of the machine, as is typical when people are having trouble. And this is weird. But uh, one of the things, I didn't know that Plasma cutters wanted way more air pressure than what I thought they did. And I was cutting with like, I was trying to cut with like 15 PSI of air pressure. Um, and this thing works way better up at, I think it's up at 70 now. So that was probably the, the number one thing that I did. My cuts were all jagged and crappy. Also, I didn't have the little when I first got it and I was first learning, I cut the uh, little piece of garbage um, training wheel, cheat sheet deal. 
I cut that in half with my torch, because, you know, why the hell not? I think I'll throw this up like this. Just all the time. This little wire, by the way, is, is what strikes the pilot arc. This red wire here. Um, so yeah, I cut the little guide in half, this thing right here. And then I was having a hard time maintaining distance and stuff for my cuts, but should not be a problem anymore. Mainly the reason I got this is to finish my gasifier. If you guys remember that project, it's actually out there in the driveway. And the only reason I haven't continued is because I'm lacking this. Now I will say that like when I got this, I thought I was just gonna be plasma cutting everything and my life was gonna be amazing. And um, yeah, all problems would be solved by the plasma cutter. And that's not quite the case. Um, it has its places. When you use this, when I use it, I tend to, uh, the metal tends to get work hardened. And that's not that great. So it makes it hard to like drill and tap and do other stuff. This is uh, a little bit over an eighth of an inch. I have no idea what it is. Oh, I unplugged it. Or why I have it. So I'll go ahead and cut it in half now and uh, buy another one when I remember what it was and why I had it. For science. now that we're reasonably confident that that's going to work. I wear glasses when I do this. I don't wear a, a full shield, but I wear these little glasses from Hobart. I think they're like a number seven tint. I don't know. They help though. So that's that. Um, as you can see, it makes pretty quick work of doing like quick cuts like this. It doesn't necessarily replace the grinder or a chop saw or anything, um, but it does a great job. This has done a great job for me. The next project will probably be, see I got a little dross on the backside um, the next project for this will probably be finishing up the gasifier. And then I think I'm going to cut a hatch in my truck's bed for the fuel pump. But, you know, the possibilities are endless. It cuts aluminum, it cuts steel, it cuts it all. So, if you're in the market and, and you're on the fence about one of these, you know, little cheap, you can get a not pilot arc. Um plasma for like 175 bucks or something they work and you know i had two years in i changed the torch you know la di da right like who cares i'll have to look it up I'll, I'll link the video below i believe it was 230 bucks though that i paid for this thing two years ago and it's still working fine so 
I highly recommend it. It's really a helpful tool to have around um, and, and will be more so now that I have a better torch. I'll probably upgrade this next. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.